While racism is intolerable in any context, it becomes especially awful when it is perpetrated by someone in a position of power. The Conservative Party has suspended one of its council members due to accusations of racist comments, in which the individual allegedly stated that all white men should have a black man as a slave. Andrew Edwards, a council member for Pembrokeshire County in Britain, is facing allegations of having made derogatory comments claiming that individuals of black ethnicity are of lower social standing than those who are white. Welcome, this is Rain Smith and you're watching the New Africa Channel. The shocking allegations against Mr. Edwards came to light after an audio recording, purportedly featuring his voice, was posted online. The recording, which was published by Nation Simrub, contains highly offensive statements, with a speaker suggesting that all white men should have a black man or woman as a slave, based on the belief that people of black ethnicity are of lower social standing than their white counterparts. Nothing wrong with the skin color at all. I think all white men should have a black man as a slave or black woman as a slave, you know. There's nothing wrong with skin color, it's just that they're lower class than us white people. According to reports, other council members were able to identify Mr. Edwards as the individual speaking in the recording after they were sent a copy. It is not clear when the recording was made or who made it. In a statement, a representative for the Welsh Conservatives confirmed that Mr. Edwards has been suspended from the party while an investigation into the matter is conducted. Andrew R. T. Davies, who serves as the Welsh Conservatives' leader in the Senate, expressed his strong condemnation of the sentiments expressed in the recording stating that they are disgraceful, abhorrent, and do not represent the views of the Welsh Conservatives. Mr. Edwards has not provided a clear response to the allegations against him, opting neither to confirm nor deny them. Instead, he acknowledged the gravity of the situation and referred himself to the Public Services Ombudsman for an independent review. I am aware of such serious allegations being made against me, this is why I have self-referred to the Public Services Ombudsman for an independent evaluation. It is now in the hands of legal experts and the Ombudsman. It would be unfair on the process for me to comment now, he said. The Black Equity Organization, a civil rights group at the national level, has expressed shock and dismay at Mr. Edwards' racist remarks and called on the relevant authorities to take action. This is truly shocking to hear from anyone in this day and age let alone an elected representative and county councillor, said Dr. Wanda Waporska, chief executive of the group. It's disheartening that there are still those who hold on to notions of superiority over others simply because of the color of their skin. Such regressive attitudes make us wonder if the scourge of racism can ever truly be eradicated from our world. Let us know what you think in the comments. Be sure to like the video, comment, share, and subscribe to the New Africa channel for more exciting future videos.